Well, we have transitioned back. It is August 6th. It is 16 hours and 22 minutes into the day. Uh, successful transition back. I did take a couple hours to sleep extra. Uh, the dreams are absolutely amazing. And one note to put out is that the, I had stayed in the vlog earlier when I was up up at my uh, place at my, at, up north uh, that my meditation had fallen off. Well, this is one of the things that you don't necessarily realize that once you get into a situation where you are meditating on a continuous basis, the specific forms of meditation uh, sometimes will appear to fall off, but they don't actually fall off. It simply shifts from one perspective to another in terms of the overall uh, result of meditation. And so that's what ended up happening is that I ended up shifting my meditation from one point to another. Uh, uh. Uh, but nonetheless, I am a um, little fatigued. We are beginning the YouTube stroll. And that being said, I do have some uh, B-roll that will allow me to, you know, of, at the fireplace, at the, where we, when we're at the fire. That will allow me to try and use uh, either here or there, or either side, I will use the picture-in-picture -picture mode so that you'll be able to see the fire. Uh, so, we'll, uh, look, we'll try that out probably uh, next month because we are at least a month behind on our editing, so uh, everything has to be organized today, uploaded. And I probably will get to an edit tonight, but I don't know what, what, if that's going to happen, so we'll have to see what happens when it happens. But uh, anyways, we're back on the scooter. Everything is so uh, back to uh, the usual abnormal. <laughs> so, Anyways, uh, I will see you... Um, Probably in the bit because things these uh, segments are shortening out because uh, not a lot of explaining in here. So, uh, see you then. Well, it is just uh, a couple hours later. It's 18 hours and 16 minutes into the sixth day of August. We have a package opening. Taking a bit of uh, a break from uh, the YouTube stroll. I did uh, the order list. I went through. Uh, the checklist of what I had accomplished up uh, north and added a new uh, uh, shopping order that will be going out soon. But I, in, the, in the meantime, we do have this uh, thing that came in. So let's open this up. Let's get our scissors for package opening. I enjoy the outings up there, particularly when there's a lot of people up there. From the, there was a festival. For the village itself, the, uh, the village of Prophet Elias. And it's what I was hoping for, and this is what I was expecting anyways. It is a device that allows me to transfer a large chunk of, uh, a huge library of material from VHS and Beta. That's uh, the old videotape standard. I can do this with this. I can transfer it to a digital library. I do have to work on the storage, but uh, that's neither going to be here nor there, so... Um, uh, this should be an interesting ad. It was cheap. I got it for five dollars, so no quibbling there. So, uh, my next order is going to total closest to, uh, 170 dollars, uh, which isn't bad. And I think, uh, we'll be fine with that. Alrighty, I will see you in the next, uh, uh, segment. Uh, the next uh, transition point. Transition points are basically when I get up and do other things, or change, go from go from uh, bed to here, or or to uh, the gaming the station, which will also be now become uh, uh, it's fixed up as a music studio. But I will be adding in a, a course. I'll be studying music uh, starting in September because it is back to school now. We'll enjoy the last month. I guess I got to do a little bit of fixing up on my uh, notebooks. And then we will proceed from there. Anyways, see you in the next transition point. Well, this is partially a pit stop. 
uh, in terms of a transition. Uh, I haven't been vlogging again. It fell off uh, because the transition points just weren't air, were weren't places where I could vlog it. And so what happens is when you can't vlog at a transition point where I'm supposed to be vlogging, uh, it falls off. Uh, anyways, it is, thir it is 15 hours and 5 minutes into the 11th day of August, uh, 2021. And I'm on the YouTube stroll. I just uh, finished finished out the Yowie vlogs. And things kind of just popped into my mind. And so I'll speak it here. And this is, has to do with uh, uh, the latest uh, episode of, uh, of uh, what you call it, of, uh, of Yowie vlogs. And they always tell people you are worth it. Uh, in this, they were describing uh, uh, the Mormon Church, and they, they they do present a lot about the Mormon Church. And uh, I'm going to prefer you have to you have to choose the path that you're on, and not all paths are necessarily good. Evil paths will not present themselves as, as being bad; they will present themselves as being good. Uh, witches and Wiccans and stuff like that don't consider themselves to be bad or evil. They consider themselves to be good. That is, you, have, you have a white witch, you have a good witch, uh, or a black witch. You have these various different forms of things. And you'll find that even in like the way Disney represent, represents these things in terms of the Owl House, these are all rather friendly characters. They're not anything to be uh, you know threatened by. Uh... <laughs> And it shows that love will conquer all. And this is this is indeed true. It's true. Love will conquer all. If you the, the the key to a spiritual to spiritual success is removing hate from your heart, removing anger from your heart, and these other forms of called negative energies, if you will, remove those from your heart, and things will go well in terms of your spiritual sense. Uh, but there is an overall direction. Uh. You could be, you know, good-hearted, you know, done these things, but headed off in the wrong direction. And you know, this is why you have Mormons, you have you have the different different evangelical groups. I mean, look at Judaism. How many different groups are there within Judaism? How many different groups there are are there within Islam? Anytime you have a a particular belief, and what we call a particular belief, if you look at it carefully enough, you'll find that these beliefs are splintered off into various different variations uh, of the same thing. Uh, and not all of them believe that, they, that the other side is good. You know, you know, this is the nature of what we call people call heresies and heretics. You know, the heretic is a strong word. You're, lay, you're throwing at somebody that you believe is not in the right direction. Uh, where, it's, again, it's not all one God, but this is showing this is that these, these directions are all different. They're different directions spiritually. And ask yourself, do all these directions lead to God? And the answer is no. If you've been doing the work enough in Gnosis, and, 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 and this is the, the knowledge of the spiritual universe, the knowledge of above and knowledge of beyond, where I can talk in more particularly, you have these, you have a pagan view, a, a pagan Gnosis, and that has one view, and then you have the only other view that is that is significantly different than the pagan view, uh, is the early Christian path of, uh, of St. Basil and St. Nectarius, of the, of the Kolivadas Fathers. That is a Gnostic path, but the Gnosis there is not one of paganism. It is the one of the only other sort of called religion that is different than the others. It, it, it's significantly different. That the There isn't a punishment, there isn't uh, uh, an end to the physical body, the, the, the body is resurrected. This is why we have Christ being resurrected. This is why we have uh, what they call Easter. We call it uh, Pascha or Anastasy, which is the resurrection. Uh, and you have these various different sort of significant differences. And, and this includes uh, when you talk about, uh, let's say, uh, the Hinduism. They talk about the, uh, being properly karmic. You know, if you have negative karma, and you're going to be punished by the universe. Well, most of the Catholics and, and the Protestants have a sense of punishment. That if you've done something wrong, you have to be punished for your sins. Well, in the early Christian church, that didn't exist. It was absolute and total forgiveness. And this was the public and the Pharisee. The Pharisee was the one who did everything correct. And the, the, 
the uh, publican was the lowest of the low. Uh, because he could take children, he could do whatever he wanted to the children. Because he was the, the, the he was a tax collector, he was um, had the uh, will. He had the seal of the of the governor of, of the king. He had the royal seal, and he had guards with him. So he said, "If your children, who were at the time children, uh, male or female, whatever you wanted." including wives, they were all property, they were all viewed as property, so he could take whatever property he wanted in terms of a tax and do whatever he wanted to do them. To, whatever he wanted to do with them. I sometimes uh, mumble my words that i got to be careful in terms in, ter in these terms and enun enunciate, so this is where this is coming in. Uh, so he was considered that this he again. I'm using anthrop anthrop I'm using an anthropomorphic term because there could have been female tax collectors as well, uh, but male the, the 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 tax collector the the, the person he or the he, pronoun he does not ref refer to the gender. In this case, it, it, it's anthropomorphic. It refers to the human species, man. Um. So he was considered the lowest low. The only thing he said, the only prayer that was on his mind. Uh, in the public and in the Pharisee was Kirileson, Lord of Mercy. That's all he said the whole time. Kirileson, 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 over and over again. And it was his prayer that was accepted. And because the 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 the, the prayers of the of the Pharisee was based in a form of self righteousness. That prayer was rejected. He was condemned by that. And this tells you right from the beginning in terms of the nature of selflessness. This is the key point for, for early for early Christianity is, is selflessness. That you do not consider yourself above the lowest of the low. In other words, there isn't a point of status within early Christianity. And this is what you kind of have to seek. And it's difficult to do because... The entire world around, including the world of church, where you have bishops and this and that and all these other things, it's all based on the world of status. That's all status. And as on the path of the early Christian, you you you, you, it's, you need to be selfish. You need to pull you away from these your, your cult, the status status of society. Then it's very difficult to do. And on a final note, uh, but this is, that's very different from from the other the other stuff because uh, with the kiliason there is no punishment. That's it. That's the final. That's the final act. It's infinite love, infinite mercy, and so the punishment is not required. The whole concept of punishment was shifted around a thousand A.D. with the emergence of the Holy Roman Empire. The there was a fundamental fundamental shift that created European Christianity or Western Christianity, and this is what we're sitting in today. We're sitting in the sphere of the of Western Christianity. This whole issue about whiteness. Well, what are you talking about? You're talking about the Holy Roman Empire. You're talking about the the European Christian Church, and it is not the same. It is fundamentally different from the Eastern Christian Church. There are two, are two Christian churches, but again, most people don't pay attention to. They don't pay attention to the details and. Uh, so, and you end up seeing what you're seeing with churches being burnt down, and they'll hit. They'll hit any church as long as they view it as Christian. Oh, that's, that's bad. But they don't differentiate. They, but they don't differentiate. But at the same time, they don't know, and they don't care to know. These are people, the people who are these triggered liberals, and this is why Dostoevsky calls them the idiots. Idiots are, is not a term of insult. It's not a derogatory term. An idiot defines a person who cannot learn. They just don't learn. They, they memorize, but they don't learn. They don't know what they're doing. They've been able to, they're like a parrot. A parrot never really learns what to say. It's simply, it's what it is. It, parrots, it, parrots, it repeats what you say. It never really has its own thoughts in the voice that's coming back to you. This is the same thing with liberals on the left. And the left is call, are called idiots by Dostoevsky because they cannot learn. They can memorize, they can interact, but they don't have a sense of knowledge to that, that they're able to learn. And even this is understood within Gnosis, that these people are the sheeple. The sheeple are the people who are going to be sacrificed. They're the pawns. And so the left identifies... But the idiots, as, 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 as indicated by Dostoevsky, 
But at the same time, he has another book called them The Possessed. And The Possessed refers to the, uh, the, uh, the uh, story within the Gospel, where you had the demon named Legion. And this was the demon who was pulled out of a man who was possessed by demons. Many of them. And he's called Legion because there was more than a hundred demons within him. And this will so this gets you into LGBTQ because LG, LGBTQ can can be said to be the the altered ego, the altered state of these people, the trans people. That's the that's demonic possession. We've seen it all along. And he, uh, the, the the demon legion says, "Be merciful to us. Allow us to go into her swine. Please don't destroy us." And Christ says, "Okay," and sends them into the, the herd of pigs. The herd of pigs go wild, uh, and they go over a cliff and into. I guess there is an ocean, a, a water, a body of water below, and they drown. Uh, this is the nature of possession. There is no thought there. It's a wild behavior. And we see this with Antifa, we see this with uh, BLM, we see this with the, uh, the anything that's Democrat or liberal. Well, why are these people so crazy? Why are they doing what they're doing? They're destroying everything. And they're not destroying other people's stuff, they're destroying their own stuff. Well, this is, this is the demons, these are the demons. This is why the, the left, the liberal left, is associated with the, Gnos the Gnostic left, the the path of, of of demonic enterprise. And so there is no difference in terms of gnosis between the left on the on the no, on the not left hand path of the no, uh, on the Gnostic side and um uh the left of the liberals. They're, they're the same. And this and this is what is put presented by Dostoevsky in The Idiot and the Possessed. Uh, it comes out even better that describes what's going on today. If you read crime, you read read the read the, uh, the, the, the read the idiot first, and then then read the possessed. And after reading the possessed, read Crime and Punishment. The character of Crime and Punishment is a humanist, and at the end of the book, as a content spoiler, he commits suicide. Well, this is the end point of humanism. We are now living in a humanistic. Human, we were actually living in a humanist, humanistic society. We're seeing the destruction. We're st seeing now seeing uh, the suicide, and what's going to come after this is, is you're going to have a rebirth of Gnosticism. Gnostic, the Gnostics will take control again, and this is brought out in the books. In the book, uh, Brothers Karamazov is the uh, chapter of uh, the Grand Inquisitor. This is referring to the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, this is brilliantly written. And in the light of what's going on today, in the light of uh, crime and punishment with the idiot and the possessed, you can see what was said in the chapter of uh, in the chapter of uh, the Grand Inquisitor. It puts personality to what's going on in today's events. And on a final note, because this is. Uh, YouTube, we can comment uh, on other videos in our in our vlogs. A vlog can have con comments in it. And this is that was one comment on the, the 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 Mormon. How there are a lot of different different aspects to the uh, to we we'll call spiritual views, and we are getting more into the Gnostic sense of things. Gnosis is simply an umbrella term that meaning knowledge of the beyond. That's what it's re referring to: knowledge of the beyond. And the, the beyond needs to be further defined. But in this case here, we're talking more about the present. This has to do with Allie uh, Tannerite. And Allie uh, is in a situation where she's trying to be a Disney princess, but it's failing. My suggestion to her is that, is that the, her YouTube channel is doing very well. So this is to you specifically, Allie. Uh, go with that. You, you, can, you can include all the Disney stuff you love in there. You can go. You can include your trips to D Disney Disneyland, and you can make as much money, if not more, than 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 you would if you were a Disney princess. And it's, it's sort of like the anime nerd, or a weeb, if you whatever you want to. Call. I'm one. I'm one. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a guru, but I still have my SpongeBob and all my stuffed animals behind me. 
So we have a serious conversation, but the weave app, the weave aspect, aspect never leaves. It's always there. And just do what uh, any, any uh, cosplayer would do. And any any uh, of these nerds who go to these cons dressed as their favorite character, you gotta go to Disneyland dressed as your favorite character. You know, dress up and bring your camera along with you. Vlog that adventure, and there's your Disney experience. And it's, it's not from, from Disney himself. It's not a, an approved message. It, this is something that you're doing. You, you're the Disney fan, and, you, and this is you being a fangirl. And this is you, and people who love Disney will follow your channel because they love it. They want to see Disney content. And similar like, like a toy collector. When the, 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 the people of all ages who collect dolls. There are doll collectors out there on YouTube. It's easy to find. And so this is something that you could do. You still make money at it. You still, I mean, your parents have made more than enough money off of YouTube. You know, work together with with, with uh, Branson. Work together with your parents. So, you know, still do the Yowie vlog. Still do the Tannerites. And, and you'll make enough money that you'll have a, a very happy life. And then you can add in whatever you want afterwards. You know, so there are is a solution. It's just a matter of whether or not you're interested in actually following that solution. Uh you know, assuming that because you still have wait another six months before you can reply to apply again to Disney, my view is just simply say, do it this way. If they and here's the thing, if they see you and they like you, they'll contact you. Maybe they'll respond to your videos. That's a way of working with Disney. 